Oh yeah, there we go, we're back. Um, the mute button wasn't working there, and it didn't turn off. Um, yeah, back on. Oh god, it's foot. I didn't even realise it was there. Look at all these comments and stuff. What is all this? Meme it up. Don't forget the president. Princess Peach was pretend was depending on you. I don't know if I can read all this. I finally got round to watching Spirited Away last night. Very entertaining movie, gorgeous animations and art style. I'm not sure what that is. Is that Kiki one any good? <laughs> Jay putting on a Scottish accent. It might be. It might be. No, definitely not. It's, uh, it's definitely me. And uh, Jay's away at the moment, uh, but we've got Footloose in the house, which is always awesome. So, hi Foot, how you doing? Been a while since we had a wee chat. But um, yes, we are playing Crash Bandicoot 3 for um, for charity. It is um, the Samaritans. I was about to say Salvation Army for whatever reason. It's for the Samaritans. It is a very, very good cause. If anybody would like to be super generous and head on over to the donation page. Um, we're currently standing at £31 out of 200 which is the target. Uh, we'd very much like to get there. There is a bunch of um, little incentives, um, such as uh, me eating a dog biscuit if we hit 200 So that'll be fun. Jay's also going to shave his head. That'll be fun. <laughs> So, yeah, I can't uh, see if I can remember a bit where um, it says what everyone will be doing if we reach, like, certain targets, but that doesn't really matter. Um, we are playing Crash Bandicoot 3 at the moment. We are about halfway through the game now. Um, funnily enough, first level coming back. <laughs> uh, Jesus. So yes, let us do some road crash. Well, there's a way I got myself a little pack at Haribo. And when I say a little pack at Haribo, uh, there's like six sweets in here. Oh, I can't even open it because I've got to do this. Right, I'm not going to lie. We may be here a while. This is, without a doubt, my least favourite level in the entire game. It is, in my opinion, the hardest level in the game. It just doesn't seem to work very well. You gotta be really, really good. Like your run. I mean, it's just it just has to be. I wouldn't want to say almost perfect. You you do have room for error. Not much though. Oh jeez. Like now I'm seriously doubting my chances of doing this. Up to 44 lives though, I just <laughs> too bad. Alright. Uh, out of the way! I uh, don't know if anyone noticed, but on the license plates, they have 96 to 2000. Or 96 uh, 17, which 96 was the year Crash Bandicoot 1 came out, and 2017 was the year that the Insane Trilogy hit the shelves. So, interesting little bit of trivia for anyone. I'm pretty sure everyone already knew that, but. Uh, if you didn't, well, there you go. You learn something new every day. I'm actually doing okay here. I, I still don't think I can do it. Um, I think I just have, like, one too many mistakes. But uh, we're doing alright. We're actually in second here. So a little bit of the, the race to go. Oh, no, that was bad. Yeah, that speed boost. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Right, we get past... One of them! Oh god, we're in first. I thought there was still another one ahead. Oh Jesus, first time road crash! First time of my life! <laughs> yes! Guess what shucks said I? Yeah, it does. But it definitely sucks today because it just got owned none of me. So uh, now I can open my little bag of Haribo as a reward to myself. So I think I'll have a little fried egg. They always go down well. Next up, 
Double header. You're getting so good at those racing levels, I'm jealous. Mate, it's luck. Plus, when you spend about 45 minutes trying to get the gold relic in it, you tend to pick up on all the bullshit. Right, double header. Let's do the the guy having his um big, big bits of uh, chicken. I believe he's trying to whack you with. I'm smacking a can at something. So then, still at forty-four lives. Nothing changes. Oh, we're two thirds of the way to infamous sixty-six lives. As I said, you can absolutely bypass most of these levels by just jumping on the little ledges here, which I tend to do. <laughs> and then make myself look a right tip. Right, probably want to avoid that. He ain't good. Where are these play guys come from? What have we got? These are my favourite levels in the game. They're so good. Yeah, the medieval levels are absolutely great. They're probably the easiest levels in the game, really. Ah, just timed that a little bit too wrong. Oh crap. Get that checkpoint. Dying as possible, it's happened a few times so far. Gonna avoid nitros all we can. Kill Gandalf. Or Dumbledore. Hey, Jay's back. Tea time. Could I actually really got a cup of tea. I should have made something like while I was away. Um, oh my god, it was the Harry Bulls. Which is a shame. Um, don't think there's been any new donations yet. It's a little bit of a shame, but you know what? It's, um, we're not asking a lot. We're asking people to give away their money. So, oh god, that was a bad idea. Dead. Dumbledore. Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. Also, I agree, medieval levels are the best. Donate people, yes. Um, Jay, I'm going to leave you in a bit of suspense. I thought of something um, as a bit of an incentive uh, for this particular stream at the moment. Um... I'll wait to the end of this level and um, I'll throw it your way and you can tell me if you think it's a good idea or not. Wait, I'm not avoiding this. I ain't. Maybe if it's off screen it doesn't count. <laughs> like crash one. Can we get all these? Oh, that was terrible. Ah, uh, screw it. Oh. Uh, who really cares about gems? We'll come back and get them later on. Still got plenty of time. Uh, donate people. Even the president donated. Yes, the president of the United States. Donald Trump did donate. I'm a big fan, Donald. Tells it like it is. Great hairdo. Like, small stuff like this, we'll talk about how like beautiful the game was and like, how little details. The lightning in the background, like that, excellent, love it. Just lovely little touches. 
the rain on the screen and stuff like that. Just the whole game. Well done, Vicarious Vision. You done good. Now, please do just as good with um, go with a uh, spiral, and um, I'll be one really happy boy. Um, donations buried by John Cena. Buried them donations like they was little bitches. And then uh, lol. Uh, anyway, before we go into my favourite boss fight of the game, obviously, like there was Tyler Breeze getting sent back to NXT. Oh, did he? That's a shame. Um, what's his name? Him and Fandango, actually. The last time I watched it, I had a, little, a good little thing going. I was enjoying it. But uh, yeah, Jay here is my thing. If anybody during this stream donates £5, I will wrap the fast part in Rap God. There we go. If anybody wants to donate five pounds, um, Samaritan's charity, it would be awesome if you could. I'll do the fast part of Rap God, or I'll attempt it. So, wait, what God? Rap God by Eminem. It's like broken records and stuff for being like too fast. You on the same page with that one? <laughs> what God? Good God, Maddle. Not even the it. Oh, that's crashed. <laughs> My controller just vibrating. I don't even know what he's up to. Oh shit! Rap God by Eminem. Yeah, Maggle. So yeah, get some donations in. That'll be good fun. Whatever we can, raise some money. Short of like you know, me jumping out my bedroom window or anything. Some like three stories up. So that would be good. You've done it. All right, here we go. Awesome boss fight. Now you're on my time, you little... I don't know why I enjoy that so much. There's something about it. Excuse me? Um... <laughs> I'll take your word for it, game. Uh, I may be calling BS on that one, but... Take your word. Hit detection, please. Yes, thank you, Foot. <laughs> That's like crap. Make sure to double jump over everything. I'm not taking any chances with this. We go. Ooh. Take that. It's weird how he's the, the third boss. Like, I get it uh, in gen in context, like, of course. Um, this guy designed the whole warp room thing. Oh, I thought he'd be a little bit higher up in the pecking order than in gen at least. What does in gen do? He builds machines and stuff. There we go, dead. Entropy, your time is up. Yeah, your time is up. There's that lovely hit detection in the game. The worst in Crash 1, it is awful. Um, this time you've done it. Uh, look at donations. Someone donates. Donation, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Someone actually done it. 36. Someone's donated a fiver, hang on a lot of second, I'll just uh, tell you my computer's a little bit slow because I've got all this stuff running. But someone has donated. I'll read it out as soon as my computer decides to tell me. So I'm gonna pick this up. Jacob Chalewa, Rap God Baby. Is that um Jacob Joseph? <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Do it, it's time. Cheers, buddy. Uh, hang on, I'll get back to the, the warp room. Well, we'll prepare for this. Is uh, somebody going to end up clipping this and putting it on Twitter for all my friends to say, God, what is this idiot doing? Insider, insider, I think I've got enough alcohol for this. Oh, I'm ready. Crash. Coco. 
So yeah, we're putting it off just another minute. We're getting back to the warp room and stuff. Just let these cutscenes play out. <laughs> Gonna clip this bitch. Yeah, probably. Alright, we are onto the fourth warp room. Penultimate, of course. Next level will be Sphixinator. I like those levels. Right, going in the competition along with Planet looking <laughs> compilation. I ain't got twatter though. Well, right, let me have a drink. I'll quickly open up um, Google here. Rap God Lyrics. This will be good. Right, well, I can't really complain. Like, put myself into this situation. Uh, at least we've got a donation for this particular part of the stream, which is awesome. But, um, yeah, I didn't expect anyone to actually pick up on it, like, especially that soon. Alright. It's alright, I'll do the twat or later. Right, I don't know. Right. I'm gonna move my controller because it's vibrating, which is good. Okay. Uh some lama dumma lama you so I'm a human what I gotta do to get it through to you. I'm superhuman innovative anime or rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me and I'll glue it to you devastating more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like it's levitating, never fading another hit for a waiting for the day they say I fell off to be celebrating because I know way to get motivated. Can make a music, you make a bit of music. And I'm brief. So, um, Jacob Joseph, that one's on you. 30 seconds of straight spitting bars. Enjoy that, mate. Uh, let's get back to Crash 3, shall we? <laughs> Look at all these emojis. Are they called emojis on Twitch? By God, he broke them lurks in half. Yeah, I can speak really fast. So, uh, yeah, that one's for you, Jacob. Not bad. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so, uh, for beating Entropy, you get the the Super Spin, which is helpful for, well, that, for a start. Uh, GG. Impressive. What is that little woman's face? Stars wins the stream. Don't know about that, mate. Planet looking Earth was pretty spectacular. I'm gonna enjoy seeing that little clip tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. Let's spin some apples. Um, got to run. Good luck, boys. Thanks for stopping by, Jacob, and thanks for uh, donating five pounds. It's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, hope to see you on the next time. Uh, uh, just Jay, out of interest, who is uh, on tomorrow night? Or tomorrow evening, night, afternoon, I don't know. I know I'm not back till Thursday, so... Oh, Jesus! Um, Jamie is on first, awesome. Uh, I'll try and... I'll try and make my way to as many of these... Um... How have I died there again? Uh, to as many of these streams as possible. 11 a.m. I don't know if I'll be on that early. I'll try and be around for as many as possible. I wish I had my bazooka. Oh, terrible! <laughs> Um, yeah, so next Thursday, I don't know, I might have a, another one. If uh, donations are all a bit slow coming in, I might try and find another rap song. I don't know. I'm trying to think of any other rap that I could possibly do that's interesting. Maybe, uh, maybe a bit too unknown for people. Uh, has anyone ever heard of Alphabet Aerobics? No, it's Alphabet Insanity, the, the difficult one, by Mac Lethal. If anyone's heard of that, let me know. It is definitely that. I might give that an attempt next Thursday. 
I don't think I can do it though. <laughs> Um, oh no, there's like no other like really really hard rap song that I can think of at the top of my head that I could give a go to. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of it, uh, if you ever get a chance just go look it up, it's pretty much this guy right, he raps really really quickly and uh, it basically goes through every letter of the alphabet making a bit of a Making a bit of a, a few lyrics with each letter. It's, it's really impressive. Like, I couldn't ever come up with something quite as good as that. Jay's still open to sing anything for a fiver. You know, when you said that, I was like, right, what really embarrassing song can I think of? There must be something awful. And I couldn't think of anything right away, so I thought, you know what, I'll wait until the next time he's streaming. I'll donate that fiver and I'll get him to sing something really bad. <laughs> Chuck her on. Uh, Chuck her on macaron by El Chombo, I believe. And clip. Thank you. Do that dumbass song you had me doing the podcast way back. Um, what one did I get you doing? I know you you did uh, Mysterious Girl by Peter Andre. And did you do fireflies? Breaking free. <laughs> That's a good song. Oh, this queen, man. Yeah, I'm really not. I never want to rest going for that extra life. There's so many in the game. Like, why would you bomb? Jesus. Ah, oh, surely he got some of those boxes for me. I uh, got the little arsehole monkeys. Try to throw the fecal matter at me. He's gonna jump on his head. He's an arsehole to me, I'm gonna be an arsehole right back to him. I just read that as Breaking Free. Is is that the Queen song? Is there another song Breaking Free that's just not come a cropper in my mind? I don't even care about these monkeys. Ah, oh, four boxes. No oh, one. Well. Okay. Oh yeah, Jay eats cornflakes. Um, apparently that's really offensive. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem to take a while. Uh, little airplane levels. You know what, I'm not... Not their biggest fan. Nothing against them. The controls always annoy me. Like in this version and the other one. The inversion on one axis and it's not inverted on the other axis, it always just irritates me. But yeah, I'm... these levels aren't bad at all, really. Just get some extra hill. Trying to shoot down some of these blimps from far away that still doesn't seem to happen for me. Has anyone done this level without taking a hit? I know it must be possible, but I always seem to just at least take one hit from someone. There we go, another level done. Um, he's a cornflaker. Cornflakes are nice though, thank you for it, they definitely are. I don't eat breakfast, period. It is the most important meal of the day. Conflicts is the devil. Sugar puffs. Yeah, sugar puffs are awesome. They have the yellow devil. Right, cereal, not Mega Man. Shreddies, knitted bananas. Yes. 
the honey monster, um, um, bah -ha -ha. Uh, the, what is it? He's not called, what was it? It was something about, uh, the honey monster. And I can't remember what it was, or if it was like sugar puffs, and they're not called sugar puffs anymore. They're actually called honey monster puffs now, because like they have in the name sugar in the title as bad, because you know obese children and stuff. I think they are like yeah, sugar puffs are dead. Yeah, I thought they were. Now they are called Honey Monster Puffs now. Sugar tax strikes again. You know what? It costs £1.47 for a half litre bottle of Coca Cola at my work. It is ridiculous. The thing is, like, people come in and buy like two bottles anyway. It's like. There's like an RS McCall's around the corner where you can get them for like 50 pence less. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, I don't really have a big issue with the sugar tax. It serves a purpose. I want people off sugar. Not have as much um, sugary drinks and all that. But at the same time, like, if you're going to up the price, up it to something that people aren't going to pay for. You know, you're upping the price of Coca-Cola by 14 pence. I didn't get hit by that seagull. You're up on the price of um, Red Bull by seven pence. Like, people aren't bothered about that. You really want people to stop buying Red Bull? Charge them an extra quid. Then we'll see people stop drinking Red Bull. Then Red Bull will change the recipe. And then the government wins. So it goes. But, you know, like, working in a shop. Yeah, I see a lot of people still buying Coca-Cola and Red Bull, even though it's went up in price. Nobody's bothered. So there's a little bit of a sugar tax rant. Um, next time on Stars Gaming, doing a live stream, 5p bag charge rant. It's all kicking off down here. I hate this level. Oh, stupid guy! Fucking bolt. Can't deal with it. Dear. B -b 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 bombs. And we got our um, Seamus in the water. Or avoid him. 49 lives. Not too bad. Sixty-one boxes. I'm sure I've missed one somewhere, but uh, I'm just gonna keep on pretending like I know I've got them all, and we'll see. See what we can do. Yeah, I was uh, talking about earlier. There's a, a extra life under the water, and I think that's the one. One pound sixty for a small bottle of water. Where's that? A small bottle of water in my works, 85 pence, which is, yeah, it's alright. It's, it's competitive. As I wouldn't mind paying 85 pence for a small bottle of water. Oh, you bitch. Uh, let's have a little look at what people are saying. Uh, they've targeted soft drinks when there's stuff like McDonald's out there. Yep, of course. Um, you know, Subway at one point was going to end up getting hit with a, a fast food charge of some kind because um, of the bread. It's like cigarettes going up. Yeah, it's like £10 something for 20 these days. People complaining, but they still buy it since they're addicted. Yep, of course. I mean, can I just say the jet ski levels, lightning is top notch. Or oh, lighting. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can I can't tell if it's sarcasm. Yeah, the level's good. Yeah, the I don't particularly like these levels so much. They do look gorgeous. Like the the backgrounds where you can see like part of the the sunset. Oh, just the colors just pop so nicely, but they're not distracting. 
I love this trilogy. It's a shame because I'll probably very rarely ever go back to my PS1 versions of these games. But, uh, this trilogy absolutely rocks. It's something we've been waiting for for years. I think like, everybody knew it was going to end up happening at some point. But there was so much because... Oh, are you kidding me again? It's because like, I don't... Wait, Naughty Dog doesn't own the, the rights to... Wait, I think Naughty Dog own the rights to Crash 1 and 3, but they don't own the rights to the trademark Crash Bandicoot. I think. I'm sure Jay will correct me. He knows all this stuff. Right, you know what? Screw the boxes. I ain't concerned. Let's just try not to die. Watch out for one-eyed welly in the little thing. I try not to mess the crystal. Oh no, sorry, that's one-eyed welly. And the bolt. Oh Jesus. I hate these bombs. Moving about all over the place. How if I get stuck here? Little Seamus in the water. Is he wide, really? He has as well, look. The eye patch. Thank God this level's over. And we're out. Where my boy Croc though? Um probably him with all the other mediocre game mascots, but you know. Maybe Croc is hiding. Yeah. What is that from uh <laughs> Lion and the King? <laughs> Waiting to eat some what is it? Floridian. Okay. Well, where is the path though? Where? Oh, for God's sake. Croc. Run all. Oh, it's excellent. If anyone ever gets a chance, watch uh, Lion and the King. It'll be on YouTube somewhere. It's pretty awful, but that was a good laugh. That was a good laugh. He was a good panther. He was very nice. Oh, so like, forget Simba the the lion, Robin the lion. I don't think his dad had a name, but uh, he fought a panther and they both hissed like alley cats. It was good fun. So, um, what are you guys' opinions on the, the future levels? I really enjoy them. Well, that future tense was hard as hell to say the least, but I think they're all good fun. I saw something about top five saddest anime moments. I didn't catch the rest of it, but that's intriguing. Uh, sad anime moments. Um, when Krillin died. I'm already right thinking that uh, these little things. Oh, oh Alright, all three Crash Bandicoot games in some form of another? I'm sure they are. Which might make them one of the only enemies to do that. Yeah, God. Somehow Busby got out of the bar. Bubsy got out of the bar. 
Wait, is there a new uh, Bob's it? There is indeed. Dragon Ball Krillin Death, one of them. Dragon Ball Z was impactful. That is it. I don't want to say it's probably the most well known anime of all time. I think that's definitely got to be Pokemon. But uh, Dragon Ball Z, definitely. Inside Out is very sad. You know, it's been on Sky Movies recently. And I do want to watch it. It does look a lot of fun. Oops. I do quite enjoy uh, Disney Pixar movies. Most of them. I didn't watch Frozen. I didn't really think it appealed to me too much. But I'm pretty sure Frozen's pretty decent. I won't knock it. Seeing Goku die was pretty sad. It was. Cats and Genyu getting turned into a frog. Top 10 anime betrayals. Uh, Ash getting turned to stone in Pokemon the first movie. So when bloody Pikachu got told by Ash he could go and join all the other Pikachu. My god. Pulling on the heartstrings. I can remember as a kid tearing up at that. Because I was like, no, you can't let Pikachu go. Frozen. Oh, yeah, that episode. Yeah, it was absolutely gut wrenching. Yeah, Ash getting turned to stone and then getting brought back by Pikachu's tear or something. That was pretty good. Pikachu became the mascot. Uh, it's one of Nintendo's big mascots. It's on covers of like Super Smash Bros and that. Um, very interesting though, Ash is apparently still 10 years old. After about 20 years of the Pokemon anime. If anyone wants to try and work out how that happens. Oh, crap. We're absolutely flying for this game. I didn't expect to like get as far as this so quickly. Um I do that one? Yeah. Tomb Raider next. Um, between Road Crash, Tomb Raider, and Bug Light. Probably my least three levels in the game. It's fine, he has Peter Pan syndrome. And Bloody Neverland. Now, the last thing I ever saw of Peter Pan was um, that film The Hook with Robin Williams. I thought it was really good when I was a kid, but apparently it was awful. So, I don't know. I enjoyed it when I was younger. Rest in peace, Robin Williams, yes. Comedy legends. One of my favourite films of all time, Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Hate the Egyptian levels. This is the only one I don't really like. I don't mind the other ones. Oh god, I just missed that box. I've really not made a good crack at going, going for boxes. So. I forgot I did that. It's 
going on over here? Da 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 da, it looks like a lady. Okay. Everyone seen the new Jumanji? I haven't. Um, I don't know if I'll like it. Tomb Raider more like Womb Raider. Ew. I need a face. A face! I was undecided whether to give it a watch as I didn't see the need for a reboot. Yeah, I completely agree. The one with The Rock, yeah, the one with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And um, Jack Black. What's his name? Kevin Hart. And some chick that I don't know. But I think she's Scottish, so well on her. Oh, Jesus. What am I doing? The Godzilla movie looks good. Um, Skull Island. Yeah, it was pretty good. I went to the cinema to see it. No. Oh, no, that was King Kong. Godzilla, the one with uh, Brian Cranston. I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh, no, screw the death run. Oh, thank God this level's nearly over. Jump up here. Oh my God, I've avoided death there. Yeah. Some hot red head check that social justice warriors get mad at she wasn't wearing enough clothes. Uh, yeah, I think she's Scottish, I believe. Um, King of the Monsters, uh, she's showing skin that I myself can't show because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to complain. Uh, it's always a uh, third wave feminists and whatnot, is it not? Uh, it's okay though, because in the film, she's actually a guy. Nothing wrong with skin. It's definitely not. As long as it's tasteful. Is it just me or did those boxes look like they were clipping each other? I don't know. Um... Back when I said like, oh Tomb Raider, it's nearly over. Wonderful seeing an Illuminati symbol on this level. Bloody me as well. God awful. Can't even hit boxes. Look out for hidden messages. Uh, I thought we might have got to level 66, so. No. That would have just pushed me a bit too far, I think. Right, let's not rush this. I can't be bothered doing this again. Uh, nice, 11 boxes. Awesome. On to engine. My second favourite boss fight in the game. And it's probably got collectively the best boss fights in the original trilogy. So, 
So yeah, just thought I would mention before we move on to Engine. Uh, this is a charity live stream for the Samaritans, also by the Game Busters UK. If anybody is uh, generous enough to donate any money whatsoever, um, you can head over to the donations page. There's a lot of uh, little incentives. Um, if you're new, I can't remember if I saw anybody. Come on. I have been singing Rap Gods. It's not good. If we get to £200, I will attempt to eat a dog biscuit, which is the goal, £200. If we can get there, we're at £36 already uh, after day one. And um, there's a bunch of different YouTubers. Uh, well, I say YouTubers. Uh, mostly streamers, I believe. I think uh, most of uh, you guys are all on the streaming thing. I don't really do it too often. So... Yeah, if um, you're feeling a little bit generous, go over and donate a pound if, um, if you can. Uh, every little bit helps. It's a very good cause. I'm going to try and take down Blade Engine. So, we're at £36 pounds just now. It would be awesome if we could maybe try and push that to 40 before the end of Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh, oh, well. Okay, I'm back on the other way though. See, this is like the hardest one to hit for me. I feel like you have to be right in his line of fire to get a hit off him. Well, we got a little um, tiger with us. He's so cute. It's a shame we don't have any more of those Tiger levels left. It's great fun. Oh no, I took a hit. Did you get out of my face? Three more to go. Two. One. <laughs> Longest boss fight in Crash Bandicoot. I don't think that uh, Tiger should be driving. Yeah, no. No opposable thumbs. That's the biggest problem. He just wants to break the rules. Doesn't want to go to school. Best boss fight in my opinion. Yeah, it's a close second for me after Engine. Again, there's something so satisfying about in not Engine, uh, Entropy. History repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. Guys, like Engine and Entropy seem like they shouldn't be working for a dope like Cortex. Yeah, or whatever happened to Embryo? It's kind of like ran off. Um, it's the same with like Papu Papu and Ripper Roo, the Komodo Brothers. Never be seen again. Or um, what is that stupid rat guy called in the first one? I can never remember. And then uh, there's also the big mouse dudes, but he's in um, Crash Bash as well, I believe that big mouse guy, bodybuilder one. Uh, on to Gun tomorrow. Embryo changed his mind in Crash 2. Papa Papa got heavily buried. Pinstripe was cool. Yeah, I quite like Pinstripe. The, the gangster rat. That's why it blows up Cortex's space station. Yeah, you see, I don't really ever pay attention to the stories. Maybe I should. Oh yeah, I've got a look at that. Game's now on easy mode. Like it wasn't before. I don't know, I just feel like the bazooka. I feel like you should get the running shoes before the bazooka. The bazooka just makes a whole game We're unbelievably simple. I mean, hell, I'm gonna use it. Hmm. 
Where are those bad guys? Showing off their ass. Does that have to get blown up? That's how it works. Where do I get him from here? Ah, oh, damn. Uh, I do like the future levels in this game. I do believe that they are some of the longer levels in it, though. Um, most definitely will not be getting the box on this one tonight. What a pain in the ass it is. Just so much backtracking and. Ugh. Just no fun. More people saying. Uh, then becomes Bell again in Twin Sanity. Oh, that's cool. Bazooka that Veruca. <laughs> Remember those adverts? Yeah, Future Tense is awesome. It is, it's just really hard. I've only beaten it once, so maybe it will get easier with multiple plays. Well, I didn't manage to get any of the gems in or anything, but I'll have to get there eventually. Yeah, that's what the guy's name was. A pinstripe pottery or something. Could have been awful. Get that bonus makeshift checkpoint. Oh, what have I done? Oh, you do need the bazooka in some situations. In the original Crash Bandicoot games, you could actually shoot other Wumpa fruit with the uh, with the bazooka, and it would like pick them up for you. I'm sure that's the case. Did you enjoy Donnie Darko? Um, the first time I watched it, I was like, huh? But um, after the second time I watched it, yeah, really, really good. Um, Jake John Hall, one of my favourite actors. The first film Seth Rogen was ever in. It's interesting. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. It was weird and confusing. But um, yeah, I thought it was good. What about yourself? Did you enjoy it? this guy. I love how the, the people that manufactured that guy went through the bother of attaching eyebrows. This doesn't seem like it'd be completely necessary. You ask me. Alright, last racing level, Orange Asphalt. I enjoyed it too, despite being confusing. I couldn't wait to see what uh, the film was going to throw at me next. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a kind of complicated film. Like, even to this day, like, I don't really fully understand everything that was meant to be going on. But um, I just found myself enjoying it a lot. And the first time I saw it, I must have been about 12 or 13 years old, so obviously I'm going to be confused by a movie like that. Um... I saw it at my grand's when I was staying over one night. It was on TV. I'm like, what the hell is this? And uh, it was really good. Alright, can we make it a hat trick? A hat trick of beating the racing levels first time. Oh, you bet you. I don't think I'm going to do it now. 
Oh, he gave me a boost. Cheers, mate. Oh, I'm away! Awesome. Yeah, no, thank you on those ramps. Oh god. How have I got away with that? Oh god, why? Corn headed bitch. Oh frick off. What is that? Amazingly in third. Still a little bit of this race to go, it's still on. I don't think it's on. I ain't on like Donkey Kong. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hit them speed boosts, hit them speed boosts. Come on! Come on, crash! No! <laughs> Nearly. What confuses me is that there's two versions of the movie that tell different stories in Donnie Darko. I only watched it once, but do I remember which version I watched? That was a combination of time travel and schizophrenia. The acting was brilliant. It was indeed. I think I'm one of those few people who didn't mind the motorcycle levels, though they are better in the original. Cone-headed bitch. <laughs> yeah, Nelly. Nelly got first in my first attempt on all three of them. Ah, it's never, it's never gonna happen for me. Oh, what a terrible start. Uh, it's weird. Like, I know a lot of people complain about the the fourth racing level, the UFO one. I actually don't mind it at all. Oh, that was god awful. Out my way. I'm gonna race to win. Well, yeah, to sixth, not bad. Uh, speaking of films, um, I went to the cinema to see that Ant-Man and the Wasp. It was actually pretty good. I would recommend it. I mean, if you're... I don't know. Like, if you're up to date in your MCU stuff, then you're probably definitely going to enjoy it. If not, there might be a couple of things in it you're like, what? What's going on? But um, yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Good fun. Fun game to play is like, try and count how many times you see a Dell computer. It's always a good laugh. You move out of the way. Alright, this is much better this time. I probably shouldn't have hit. Oh, that speed boost is a bag of shit. Alright, come on, let's do this. Like you to get my way, thank you. <gasps> no, that is impossible. No, <laughs> that's bollocks, me. <mate. laughs> that's terrible. Ah. Uh... Look up FBI kills by dancing. Donate for rage, please do. Who would have thought it'd be Orange Asphalt that gave me the most problems out of these? How have I missed that again? Well, if you want to go into Dingo's di Diner, it's five cents a soda. Obviously, the sugar tax has not hit there just yet. Um. I'm sure when it does, you're going to have to pay about nine cents for that soda. Get on my way! Uh, oh, Jesus. Stupid racing levels. I don't want to play this three times. Oh, I can't believe how I failed the last time, though. That's disappointing. Excuse me. Oh! 
You know who I blame? I blame you for 